but he's got to stay focused. It's a difficult fight, but it's a winnable fight. I think he'll beat Valin. I think he'll actually knock him out late on. But, you know, that's my own personal opinion. I think deep down he knows he's going to win the fight, but he's staying focused, and I admire him for that. So just looking at these face-offs, this is Dimitri Bivol against Lyndon Arthur. Lyndon Arthur didn't say too much today. Bivol, the WBA champion at light heavyweight, Arthur with the IBO belt. It's a tall order, this is Lyndon Arthur. He knows it, we all know it. Bivol is, is one of the best fighters out there after the, that performance against Canelo. Great Bivol, and then you never, never know, he may have a slight chance, mightn't he? But yes, he's up against it. He's, you know, But that's the fight I'm looking forward to there. Daniel Dubois, Gerald Miller, I think there's going to be fireworks and I think it's a genuine 50-50. I, I, I don't know who's going to win this one. I would like to see Dubois box him at range, keep him on the end of that jab and straight right hand, but we know Gerald Miller is very good at getting on the inside, closing his opponents down. He's got the weight behind him and I think it's a difficult night, but again winnable for, for, for Daniel Dubois, but it's a tough fight indeed. Kid, but he literally walked him down and he really put it on him and in the end, I think he stopped him in about round six um, against Lucas Brown. Yes, when he gets to you, he's really, really dangerous. And so that's why Daniel, for me, has got to box at range. Well, here we go. Stare down between Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker. This is an interesting matchup. Parker and Andy Lee, full of the right kind of confidence this week. They believe in themselves. Again, they know that this is a a tough ask and have seen for a really long time Valin hasn't this is his first really big card outside of the fury one but this is this is bigger than that in general you would say and he's had a lot to say joshua has just listened soaked it up hasn't really responded too much and i do feel like he is really locked in and where he needs to be yes he's locked in Otto Valin, though, is, is a talented boxer. I was watching him against Gassiev, actually, this morning. His last contest against Marit Gassiev, he boxed on the back foot. He beat Gassiev on a split decision over in Turkey. Good win. 